Hey everybody, it's Sam here with 3D Printing Canada and I have my AMS today. I would love to say that I'm going to show you how to print with it, but I clogged it. So let's go over how to fix it when that happens. All right, so step one is we are going to have to take all of the filament out. I've already disconnected it from the machine, so that's really easy. We just get to back pull the filament until it comes out. Always make sure that you use your little retaining holes. That's what keeps your filament from back spinning and tangling on the spool. The clog that happens that jams these up actually occurs underneath the filament holder platform. So we are going to have to remove that to be able to do this. So you take out your Allen wrench. You wanna make sure you have a nice long one to be able to do this. The screws are actually located inside these little holes here. They're a little finicky to get out, so you might not be able to see me remove them, but you just drop the Allen key down into the hole and unscrew the screw. Once it's loose, you can just leave the screw in the channel. That'll help to try and keep it from flying away on you, falling to the ground, getting lost, rolling into parts unknown. Now that we've got it loosened, the screws aren't holding it in place anymore. There's a little lever under here that you actually have to get in and hook so that you're able to take your base out. So we've released the catch and we're able to lift it about this far until cables are starting to become a problem. So that's when we need to reach in and just carefully unplug them. They do have different numbers of pins, so you cannot mess it up when you plug them back in. It's not a big deal to keep track of. And we can lift the whole unit out and that's when we get to go searching for where the clog ended up. So with the whole unit out, you can flip it over and you can actually visually inspect all of your tubes. The clog ends up being inside one of the Bowden tubes. It's the usual practice. You push the fitting down, pull the tube out, clear everything out of it, and you should be good to go. It's also possible that it could come up into this little mechanism, in which case usually when you just wiggle it a bit and jiggle it around, that's when everything will clear out of there, but it's not in there this time. So that means it must be in the unit itself. And I think I found it. Here we go. I got a chunk of filament clogged right at the Bowden connection point. More than likely, my PLA is wet and I'm gonna have to dry it. But now that the clog is out, we can reassemble and load it all back in. I just won't use that white until after it's been through a dryer. So. We're gonna do the same thing in reverse. We're gonna stand our AMS up so that we can get these plugged back in to where they're supposed to be. Make sure that your pins are aligned with the right ones here. They are keyed JST plugs, so you can only plug them in the correct way and you will get that wonderful little click feeling when they actually seat properly. Right. Just give them a little wiggle, make sure they're properly seated and we can carefully slide this back into place. So now we can put the screws back in. Remember, these holes here are where they belong. So I know that this white was the problem because that's the chunk that I pulled out. So I'm gonna take this one to the dryer and my AMS is ready for me to reinstall onto the printer and load whichever colors I would like in there. So I hope you found this helpful, uh, just like all of our videos are supposed to be. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.